Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. So today we are going to talk about a few things that have happened um, in our area and our neck of the woods and some of the craziness that's been going on. Um, so let me get the first color that I'm going to start with. There's something funky on there. What is that? White stuff. I don't know. Okay, so, so it is storming out, so I hope our lights don't turn off because they did turn off last night when there was no storm, so we never know. We just go with it. Go with the flow. So, yesterday was July the 27th, which is mine and my husband's um, anniversary. It was our six month anniversary yesterday. Yes, it was. <laughs> so. Uh, my husband got us, uh, since I didn't really want to go anywhere since this whole COVID stuff, um, my husband got us, um, carry out and so we got Olive Garden and so I ordered it and my husband went to go pick it up. And while he was gone, I could hear this really loud noise like a couple different times and I I was like gosh that was really loud. I want like every time I say like hey is that a gunshot? My husband will be like, No, it's a firework. So I'm like, okay. So I pretty much have stopped asking at this point because I'm wrong every time anyway. So, I, but I could hear this loud noise, and then I, and then I was like, gosh, it sounded like really loud, like really close, like, and the garbage cans are pretty far away, so I was like, well, maybe someone hit the garbage can or something out there, you know, anything's possible. So, I'm just sitting here waiting for him to get back and trying not to fall asleep. <laughs> Um, and then, um, he calls me and he's like, well, I don't know how I'm going to make it back because our apartment complex is surrounded by cops. There's like 10 police officers blocking the street. And I'm like, what? Uh, okay. So those were gunshots that I heard. And my husband's like, what? Because right when he messaged me to to tell me that the news the breaking news thing popped up on my phone to tell me that there were um two a police officer involved shooting and two police officers were shot and this and that and so um, and then I look at the address of where it happened and it says it's in our apartment complex. I'm like, oh my God, are you serious right now? So it happened like three buildings away, like really not that far. Like, um, uh, so I guess. Uh, from what the news says, um, three, ta three, there was like a task force, um, and they're, they are investigating some armed robberies in the Denver metro area, and apparently they, um, tried to talk to one of the suspects, and they decided one of them, I think there was two of them or a few of them, but 
Um, one of them decided to take off running and ran into a, like into a field area or whatever and then somehow got into our apartment complex and they then proceeded to try to carjack somebody. Um, they apparently got out of their car, gave the suspect the car, and then the cops decided that they weren't going to let it go. So they rammed the car and started shooting. Uh, so it was like a shootout. Like, there were bullet holes in the cop's car window windshield. And there were bullet holes all throughout the driver's side window of the of the vehicle that they tried to steal. And the only reason I know that is because I um, seen it on the news. They were they had like the news out here, police helicopter or like um news helicopters and like all these things so it was pretty crazy and I went outside to see where my husband was because he's like I don't know how I'm gonna get home and back to you but there's like a couple different entrances thankfully to our apartment complex so I was able to navigate him into one of the sides that didn't have any police activity so um, and they thankfully didn't block off the entire apartment complex, which, you know, obviously if the guy had gotten away or, you know, wasn't found, then they would have probably blocked off our entire, our entire, uh, complex, but that didn't happen, thankfully. So, it was insane, like freaked me out because I have kids. I don't need bullet holes going through my apartment walls um, and stuff. So, um, my one of my sons was on the couch with me and my other one was in his room playing, which the window um, is on that. Not... the wh Where it happened, it was not it was not near our apartment so um it would have had to have gone like travel through a lot of walls to get over to our our side but you know still it's pretty freaky to to hear a shootout happen in the middle of your apartment complex so i walked outside and um like everybody was outside like it was like the best day ever or something I'm like oh my gosh it is not party time people get in the house <laughs> so and then um we finally today we finally got to talk to the apartment manager we had to actually set up an appointment believe it or not and we finally got a hold of her and so you know she just wants us to keep emailing pictures of you know what's happening and um she's like gonna check and see if the dogs you know are out frequently and you know stuff like that but i guess there's like a huge process and also, you know, they don't want to evict somebody over a dog, especially during this time. Um, but she's getting pretty upset because, you know, she's like, this needs to stop happening. So, but, I mean, the dogs are out on the porch right now as we speak. It's a potential to, to go to the bathroom at any given moment. So... Um, you just, yeah, we don't know. We don't ever know when it's going to happen. And sometimes they're good and don't go. But other times, they'll go multiple times. So, we never know. 
when it'll happen, but she wants us to email every time we see something. Um, because she says that, you know, she is keeping track of it. That's a pretty long thunder. You guys probably can't even hear it. Because you can probably only hear my fan in the background. Which is not even in the same room as me. So. My sister took the kids today to do the schooling thing. So. And it looks like the teachers in Denver are deciding to protest. They don't want to go back to school to in-person learning until there are their demand is that you that Colorado go 14 days with no new COVID cases before they start teaching, which is pretty much never going to happen because we're about to hit cold and flu season again soon. And the cases are just going to go up even higher, so. I think it was maybe a mistake opening up again as soon as we did, but I'm not the leader, so what do I know? <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else to update? Oh, yeah. So I got my Amazon order in and I decided not to do an unboxing. Um I just, uh, you know, decided to open it myself, but I don't know that I'm too happy with, with the products that I received. So I received, um, I received this jar of museum wax, museum gel, and I I can get it in my pen just fine. So what I'll do is I'll actually um, can you hear me with the shaker? So I'm going to take out the pink wax that I am using. And I'm going to put a little bit of the museum gel in it. Um, so it looks just like that. Clear. And all I do is just scrape a little bit. Cross, and it should it should fill up and get into the end of your pen. Okay, and let me just make sure there's enough in there. So we'll see if it lasts for the whole the whole session um, because I've been having some difficulties with it like I feel like it sticks for a little while like the pink wax and then and then it'll just like stop so I mean, it's quite expensive. I paid, I believe it was $11 and some change for the jar. 
and you do get quite a bit and it, and it's like self-healing so that scrape will self-heal itself and then it'll be flat again so um And I'm doing more than I usually have been doing during a session because I just, I feel like I'm not getting enough of it done. Um, so, I probably won't video, I probably won't talk through the whole video of me completing this section, but I will have the time lapse of the full section at the end of this video so make sure you stay tuned for that but um so i'm thinking about maybe possibly returning the museum wax because i think i get better results from the pink wax that i got from diamond art club i don't know if it's all wax um from diamond art club because when i tried another one from one of the other kits that i got it didn't seem to last as long but i don't know about you guys but um when i look at the end of my diamond pen uh, after i've been drilling for a little while i'll start to see like flecks of stuff um, in it, like, sometimes there'll be, like, shards of the, of the resin in there, or, um, just dirt and grime, or, you know, I don't know. Why is this look right? Come on. There we go. Um, so, I don't really, I don't really know what it is, but... Okay, so I'm doing number one. Ooh. If I start dropping a lot of gems, that's how I know that I that I'm not gonna like the product that I'm using. Because that means that it's not sticking well enough. So And it's pretty, it's pretty good because it, it leaves maybe, sometimes it leaves a little, like if you fill it up too much, it might leave a little bit of the clear stuff on it, but you just wipe it off and it only happens at like the very beginning when you first load your pen, if you overload it. So once it's. See, like, if I could find something, because the, the pens have, like, a hole in the, in the back of them. I don't know if you can see it or not, but inside this plastic right here, there's actually pink wax shoved in there. Because in the, in the bottom here, there's, like, a hole, and I don't know what the hole, I don't know what the purpose of the hole is, or or what but like I don't know why it's there I don't think it should have a hole there because then it just pushes it's like a place for the wax to go and that I think is why uh, I start having problems with it because it will like cave the it'll like divot the the wax or whatever I'm using in it and then it'll start like becoming the shape of the diamond and then the diamond won't stick to it anymore the drill so um so 
I wish that when they made them, they didn't they didn't make them so they have that pinhole. And I've seen that there are there's someone on Instagram. I don't know their name off the top of my head, but they actually sell like like a metal three placer and it's supposed to be like pretty like like hard metal so like you shouldn't be able to break it because a lot of people break their um multi placers because i guess they're just a little hard on them <laughs> Um, which I must admit, I have had to replace the tip of my pens multiple times. Um, not necessarily because I'm hard on it, but like if I drop it on the floor and it's not a carpeted floor, like if I dropped it on like the hardwood floor or the linoleum in the bathroom or, you know, something like that, then it actually can dent the metal tip so I was actually thinking about getting one of the the multi placers but then I'm like why would I do that considering that I don't use multi placers I like to I, I'm not very good at it one and two I mean I can get I can get them straighter if I just use the one at a time single placer so um, that's kind of what I try to try to stick to because I don't want uh, large gaps or um, or drills that are not lined up in rows properly, etc. So I just, you know, do it one at a time. Plus, I'm in no real race to get it done anyway. Um, even though I like, I really enjoy the feeling of accomplishing, like of finishing something, like, um, you know, I rather enjoy it. Um, so sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to hurry up and get it done so that I can feel that enjoyment of completing the diamond painting. But my husband's always telling me why do you, why do you, you don't have a deadline don't worry about it just you don't have to hurry up and finish it but you know he of course says that because he's like wants me to have a project longer than five minutes you know so that he doesn't have to buy more so I'm just trying to complete everything that I've that I've purchased which I mean you can ask my husband I've been pretty good about it this one I think is not very flat so I've been pretty good about finishing finishing stuff that I start so um, like I don't have any, I'm trying to think, I don't have any that I've started that I haven't finished, that I, ha I'm like, that I'm not currently working on, that is, except for my diamond painting of my mother, um, but since that has to be filmed, And it's a little bit harder to to work on but which would you guys rather see me work on both of them 
and switch out or would you rather uh, me just complete that one off off camera it, the thing is I'm kind of avoiding it a little bit to be quite honest because the I think the drills are smaller. I think one one set of drills are smaller than the other. So um, for the background, there's like two colors going on in the background. And I think one of the drills is smaller than the other. So it's like, it's kind of like putting me in a funk about it because then they're not lining up properly and you know all that stuff so it's kind of a little on the frustrating side for me like I said I I like my stuff to line up with no gapping and no issues and the Drills seem to have issues, I don't know. So. Ooh. <laughs> Oops. I didn't realize the drills were coming out of the top of the container. I'm probably going to have to buy a new um, new sealant for this. Mod Posh um, because I want to make sure that it is perfect for when I seal it. painting or if it's the gems though. It's hard to tell because The only thing I don't like is I feel like the shape of the gems are what causes my my pen to scratch these. Like maybe they stick up more in certain places or something. I don't really know, but it's kind of frustrating because I don't like the gems scraped because then it like makes them dull but. I'm curious to know if everyone has already decided what they're going 
to do for their drills and chills. Do you want any 20 diamond painting? Because I have not found mine yet. Um, I do have one by this artist that I like, but um, I would need permission to show it, I think, on my channel, so, so I'm probably going to have to pick something else that's a little more generic to work on. tried to to get companies to release his art or to contact him to, to release his art but um, so far I haven't seen any of the companies that I recommended um, sign him so which I'm really bummed out because he's very talented. Um, and it's more like dark art instead of like the freely go lucky um, stuff. But um, a lot of these companies. Um, you know, stay pretty neutral with with some of the stuff that they sign up with, so. So, I was hoping, though, because, like I said, he's my, he's one of my favorite artists, so. Um. Gosh, those kids upstairs are running amok. <laughs> You'll probably hear that <laughs> better than the thunder. <laughs> you think that's what we sound like when we live upstairs? I don't think they pounded that much. You don't think the kids ran? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Pounded that much? I don't know. I don't mind it though. I can ignore it. Gosh. Over.
I don't think my neck is hurting as bad now that I have this peaking down lower. Here, it's just not that bad. Hmm. I also got a diamond painting square ruler. So you can see it's almost gone. The whole line. So, like I said, it self heals. So, it will go completely gone. Um, do you know what I Huh? Not a ruler, but square diamond paper. Did you move it? My husband touches everything, you guys. It'll end up missing because he will touch it. So, I got it, but when I put it against the painting, I'm finding that It doesn't fully line up, so it actually lines up pretty good on this one. Only a few of them that are like really messed up, which is weird. So, like I said, I will, I will try to do a review on it. Well, so about half of it lines up. And then the other half is pretty, um, pretty uneven. So I would only be able to go so far with it before, before I would have to move the ruler over, which I don't mind. So I don't know if I'm going to send this back or not. I think I paid nine something for it. Something like that. I would have to. I'll put the. Um, I'll put the description. I bought it off of Amazon because I wanted something that would arrive sometime this this year. So um, since I'm having a lot of trouble getting things from from AliExpress. I'm not, I'm decided not to order anything else from them right now. Um, the last time I checked on the stretcher bars for this thing, it was only a label created. It hasn't actually moved anywhere. So logistics from China is like doing nothing. So and I don't know, you know, why it's not, why it's not moving. It's not even moving through China's mail system, so. Because usually I can look up the tracking in the China's, in China's, like, track 17 or whatever it's called. Or one of their other ones. And I usually can find movement in China, at least, where, you know, it got to, like, the exchange or whatever, but it hasn't 
it hasn't done anything since I purchased it like 16 days ago or something so I might end up having to get a refund which I'm pretty upset about because I got a really good deal on them um, I'm very particular about what I buy and how much I'm spending because I've always got to be mindful of that. So, so I don't, I haven't decided yet, but I'm probably, probably going to at least return the museum wax because like I said, I don't feel like it's any different than using wax. Like, I feel like I fill up my pen as often as if I was using pink wax. And sometimes I can go a whole day on the same pink piece of pink wax, like the same one that I put in my pen um, with that Diamond Art Club one that I, that I like. So, I can't always, like I haven't gone a full day using this stuff, so I start using it until it starts to fall off, and then, and then I have to switch it out, because it irritates me <laughs> beyond belief when the drills keep like falling off and falling off and falling off. Like you go to get it to the canvas and it's already falling, it's already fallen off. Like, I don't have, I don't have a lot of gems to be wasting, especially since I don't know how well me and Mayan um, does their drills, so. And I'm hoping that I don't, that I have enough drills for everything, but I have I have bad luck when it comes to diamond paintings I feel so I feel like if it's going to be missing drills it it, it is <laughs> or short or you know what not and I just hope that if I am short that I have the same colored dye lot already here. Because it seems like each company or each color, it, I mean, you can get it from the same company. Maybe they didn't put enough dye in it or whatever so that it's like lighter or darker shade and I oh I have a little I have a little round one in here a little blue round J drill hmm. My five-year-old keeps asking every day, is it Christmas yet? Is it Christmas yet? Is it Christmas yet? Because we told him that if he wanted a Nintendo Switch that he had to wait until Christmas because it's a large buy and um, yeah. So he's been asking like every day, <laughs> is it Christmas yet? And I'm thinking, geez, kid, why do you want your, why do you want your wants to be so expensive right now? You're not even a teenager yet. You're five. 
but he likes to play Mario Brothers and Smash Brothers and stuff, so, uh, and he, do, he doesn't understand that it only plays on one console. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't understand that his PlayStation will not play those games. So, it gets pretty, pretty, you know, frustrating to, to try to talk to him and tell him, like, you know, you can't get Smash Brothers for this one. He'll cry and cry. I'm like, and then he'll tell me how mean I am. I'm like... Honey, I'm not mean. I, there's nothing I can do about it. They're different companies that own them. But he doesn't understand. So. But that's his thing. He likes to tell me, you're mean. <laughs> and then he'll break my heart when he gets mad and he'll go, I want zero mom. I want, a, I want zero mom. I don't like mom. And my husband will be like, that's not nice. You, your mom loves you. And he's like, no. I'm like, oh my lord, kid. You are so, I'm like, who's mean? You're mean. I'm like, you don't hear me saying I want zero children or zero Atreyu. But, I don't know what it is, but that's the way he gets sometimes. as nice as can be and I'm still mean because it's raining out <laughs> or because Mario and Smash Brothers isn't made for PlayStation like how am I supposed to to know I did not even have a hectic or crazy night, so I'm not sure why I'm tired, but I am feeling a little bit of a fatigue, and a little bit of tiredness. I'm trying to think of what else I can update about. Sometimes I find myself really heavy eyed while I'm working on diamond painting. Then I'll start to nod off a little bit. <laughs> 
I'm so afraid I'm gonna, like, one of these days I'm gonna drop my whole container of diamonds, like I'm gonna fall asleep in the middle of it or something. But I've been good so far. Went to my sister's house. I ended up nodding off on her couch because my husband and my brother in law went to go get pizza. And so. sitting there snoring on her couch and she's laughing at me and I'm like what the heck is funny she's like did you wake yourself up snoring I'm like all the time <laughs> um my mom my mom was a snorer oh, she snored loud she snored the paint right off the wall I mean it was She would get so mad at me when I would like bump her and be like, Mom, wake up, stop snoring, you're snoring. I can't, because I'm a really light sleeper, so. Uh, so I would wake up really easily. Like even if she moved in bed, I'd wake up, but I've become more of a, I think a little more of a sound sleeper now. I don't know why, I think it's because we all slept in the same room, you know, for a while when we were homeless. So I think that I got kind of like used to having to sleep with with sound with some sounds because you know the neighbors would be loud or or whatever. So. But I think I'm going to end the recording here, but I think, so, like I said, at the end of this video, you will see the full time lapse of me completing from here to over here. And I may do even more today, I don't know. I haven't decided um, yet. I just, I just wanted to get a you know, a good chunk of it done, um, today, because I've been doing little, little bits of it, so, but, thanks for watching, bye guys!
Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.